Hello, this is uh, Rajiv Narawadi, and welcome to Life's Magical Journeys YouTube channel. Today, we will be uh, discussing a few novels of uh, Kigo Higashino. Uh, Kigo Higashino is uh, a Japanese author. I always get excited when, when I have to speak about Kigo Higashino. He's one of my one of my favorites. So uh, I've already done one of the video on him and uh, covered only one novel because I was covering Japanese authors. So Kigo Higashino was born in Osaka, Japan in 1958, and he's a master novelist. He's uh, very well known in the uh, in, in the genre of mystery and crime thriller, crime thrillers, and even I would call add like psychological depth uh, to to these thrillers as well. Uh, his multiple novels have ended up as uh, movies, uh, and uh, the movies from his novels they span Japanese, Hollywood, as well as Bollywood genres. And he is an engineering graduate from Osaka Prefecture University. This is what allows him to combine uh, the analytical skills with the mysteries of everyday life. Uh, so we will be talking about a few novels from Kiko. So the first one here is uh, The Name of the Game is a kidnapping. Oh, look at that beautiful book cover, uh, which which uh, says a lot of things. <laughs> uh, when, when I have to pick up a particular novel, I always uh, also love to see what the book cover is about. And this is an amazing cover, right? Uh, so the story centers around Sakuma, who is like a very highly ambitious uh, advertising agent. Uh, but uh, he, when he, when he's just about to land one of the biggest gigs of his career, he is betrayed by the owner of the company that uh, hired him. And uh, down uh, with his luck and uh, on his way out career-wise, because this he was he was banking a lot on this particular uh, gig uh, that he was going to do, but uh, that is also brought up huge obstacle into his career. So he plans to go publicly embarrass the man who brought him down by seeking revenge and redemption. That's all that is going in Sakuma's mind at that point. So instead, he stumbles upon a deep secret. So accidentally stumbles upon a deep secret involving the man's family. And uh, he thinks like, uh, th this is, a new plan now. Let me go and try this. Uh, bring down his new rival in a twisted game of kidnapping. So <laughs> he thinks that uh, now uh, this will lead to uh, the disgrace of the man who uh, impacted his career. So so begins the game of kidnapping. So it's a high stakes game of deception and manipulation. So Sakuma quickly realizes that uh, this world of crime is far more complex and dangerous uh, rather than the corporate battlefield he is usually accustomed to. So he's, you, you're, we are bringing out a character that was uh, highly ambitious, but now uh, from the corporate world into, um, into an area of crime, and that to a dangerous one of kidnapping. So the narrative intricately weaves uh, the perspectives of the various characters that are involved, uh, including the kidnapper himself, <laughs> which is Sakuma, and then the victim, uh, the law enforcement agencies, and the victim's family itself. So it goes through that emotional trauma that is uh, involved whenever there is a kidnapping. Uh, and each one of them is del uh, deeper. Uh, although you know, we don't know that uh, Sakuma is the kidnapper all the way through the novel. Not a lot of people know, although the reader is uh, is already aware that uh, he Sakuma is going to be involved in kidnapping and he is part of this huge kidnapping effort. But uh, none of the outside world knows it, right? So otherwise, the plot is out. <laughs> so, so begins like uh, Higashino's suspenseful atmosphere. Uh, like it keeps the reader on this uh, unexpected twists and turns. So uh, as the story unfolds, the moral ambiguities come into the picture and uh, the different perceptions of what is right and wrong. And Sakuma, uh, initially, we know him as an antagonist, right? He is like the bad character who is planning on kidnapping and he emerged 
but he emerges as a complex character uh, driven by desperation and uh, uh, sort of uh, a sense of justice which seems distorted. So the novel explores the different themes of uh, greed, loyalty, and the sort of thin line between the uh, ambition and the obsession uh, when one turns into the other uh, it becomes uh, it becomes like a very intriguing thing for the reader so the intricate plot is uh, well developed with all the characters that are uh, very deeply enriched and uh, filled with a lot of suspense and that is what you get with uh, Higashino's novels and the novel ultimately uh, leaves the reader pondering uh, like what is the cost of success and uh, uh, and the price of vengeance that we have to pay whenever we go uh, and try to uh, avenge someone uh, and that what is the cost of that so it leaves the reader with a deep thought provoking thought uh, along those lines so the name of uh, name of the game is a kidnapping is a wonderful wonderful read and as always unexpected twists and turns right and i have not even you know, talked about uh, uh, even a little bit of those twists and turns here so it's an amazing amazing read so the next one uh, of kiga higashino is a death in tokyo uh, so in the Nihon Bashi uh, district of Tokyo, a very beautiful district of Tokyo, if you have to visit Japan, uh, it's hard to miss this part of Tokyo. Uh, there is a mythical uh, beast, uh, a statue rather like that stands guard over the district from the Nihon Bashi uh, bridge. Uh, it's the Kirin. So that's the mythic beast uh, which is uh, which is on the Nihonbashi bridge and it overlooks the entire Nihonbashi uh, district. So that's the setup of Kigo Higashino when he builds up this, uh, this uh, start of the novel. So in the evening, a man who appears from far away uh, to be very drunk. Uh, he is going back and forth and uh, like a drunkard and he suddenly collapses right under the statue of the winged beast the kirin and uh, the patrolman who is on duty he sees the scene unfold right in front of his eyes and he goes on to check on the man uh, only uh, then he discovers that the man is dead and uh, he's also not drunk so he was stabbed in the chest so that uh, how uh, like this guy ended up walking all the way to this clean statue uh, on the Nihon Bashi Bridge. Uh, however, where he died is not where the crime was committed. So that is the key to solving the crime, identifying where he was attacked and why he made such a superhuman effort to carry himself all the way to the Nihon Bashi Bridge, right? And where was this crime committed, essentially? So there was some superhuman effort made by this man or to stagger across and drop dead uh, under the, underneath the statue. So all of these are tied, right? So that same night, a young man uh, named uh, Yashima is injured in a car accident. And uh, uh, he's attempting to flee from the police. And the police finds on him the wallet uh, of the murdered man. So then he becomes like the uh, immediate suspect, right? But uh, uh, there are always twists and turns <laughs> in Higo Higoshino's novel. Uh, so the Tokyo police detective Kiyoshi Kaga uh, is assigned to the team to investigate the murder. So this is one of the Kaga series. Uh, there are various series, and Kaga, uh, Detective Kaga, also has a series which is multiple novels. Uh, so this is one, one of the Kaga series. So Detective Kaga must uh, use all his skills, muscle all his skills to uncover what actually happened on the, on that night at Nihon Bashi Bridge. So there is, is there any connection between the murdered man and Yashima who was caught uh, with the wallet? And this, uh, this uh, starts like the deep, deep investigation of Kaga. And it takes him down dark roads, down to the past to uncover what really happened and why, right? So it's a lot of uh, how done it and the why done it. Uh, and, and that's not 
the only thing. There is many other things that come as part of the twist. So the uh, personal histories of all these characters uh, is the central theme, and that is the key to solving the crime. It's about understanding human motives and the capacity for change. Uh, it examines the actions that are sometimes taken in desperation, and uh, to what lengths do we go as individuals uh, to protect the ones we love the most, right? And uh, all these are uh, the themes in the story, multiple themes in the story. Uh, the resolution is both uh, uh, surprising and uh, satisfying. It showcases Higashino's masterful uh, storytelling. Uh, he crafts a narrative, for sure, uh, which is thought-provoking and uh, uh, Personally, it was emotionally resonant uh, with me, uh, depending on how he progresses with each character going deep uh, on the how done it, why done it, and so on. So uh, do go and read A Death in Tokyo. The third one in uh, Kigo Mikachino we'll be reviewing, reviewing today is The Newcomer. So the newcomer is set against the backdrop of Tokyo's Nihon Bashi area. Uh, so again, another uh, Nihon Bashi uh, based novel here, right? So the novel follows Detective Kaka again as he investigates the murder of a woman in the apartment which is uh, in this area and uh, unlike uh, the other detective stories uh, that focus solely uh, on the duel that happens between the detective and the suspect newcomer has uh, has a fresh theme i would say it takes you through a series of unconnected stories that are tied to the local community and uh, what's happening within that community. So it refers, uh, the title itself, Newcomer, refers not only to Detective Kaga, who has been introduced uh, and uh, to this area, he has just been transferred to the Nihon Bashi Police Precinct, uh, but it also or talks about how he immerses himself in the neighborhood and uh, learning about the lives of the people, uh, the residents, and how they interconnect through all, uh, all of these happenings uh, ultimately to the murder. So the chapters as we go along, they introduce us to different characters who knew the victim, for example, Minoko, uh, Mitsui, uh, and we try to understand the relationship uh, with the victim through Kaga's, uh, the Kaga's investigative effort. That's how we get to know uh, deeper and deeper into the characters. And the characters are all uh, living around in this area, residential neighborhood. So as Kaga uh, dives deeper, the reader is presented with the various facets of the community. There is the usual local shops, that's the rice cracker shop, uh, then there is a Japanese clothing store, a restaurant, and a theater group uh, among all these, and uh, all of these are tied somehow within within this novel, right? And uh, as you progress as a reader, you will come to know what unravels uh, at each point and each one of these chapters. So the settings are to reveal the clues and uh, they are the sort of the red herrings, right? Layering this narrative within this social uh, community as a commentary on the dynamics of a small community life, how the community life uh, goes on. It's sort of an everyday life, uh, but it's also interesting. <laughs> and there is a departure uh, uh, from sort of, as I said, between the detective and the perpetrator. So it's uh, not a focus on forensic evidence, but rather a psychological battle, you would say. And uh, the perpetrator here who has committed uh, this murder is also very, very smart. And, uh, um, and that's like uh, uh, where the community itself gets involved and the local uh, community, in fact. And the novel sort of emphasizes Kaga's empathy uh, that, that 
gets to be seen, his intuitions and uh, the mundane details of everyday life, how they are all connected and they become crucial in piecing together the puzzle. So Kaga's method of solving the model is grounded in understanding of the community fabric, which is, which is the core because various people, residents have various things to say about the victim. And uh, that's what we get to uncover in this, uh, in this novel. So the uh, next novel is uh, Salvation of a Saint. Uh, this is a novel, uh, part of the Detective Galileo series. So there is a Kaga series and then there is the Galileo series. And it follows the investigation into a murder case uh, that challenges conventional detective work because there is uh, intricate uh, puzzles that need to be solved and also dealing with deep emotional undercurrents. So the story itself begins with uh, Yoshita Kamashiro. He's a wealthy businessman and he's found dead in his home, the victim of what appears to be poisoning. And uh, uh, when, when it is the husband that has been murdered, the wife is the suspect, uh, obviously. And her name is Ayane Mita. And uh, uh, there is a reason. Um, there is a motive as far as uh, as far as it is concerned because uh, Yoshitaka was openly planning to divorce her if she couldn't provide him with a child and uh, Ayane also has a solid alibi she was hundreds of miles away visiting the parents at the time of her husband's death so this takes detective Kushanagi and uh, uh, detective Galileo which who is also a professor uh, to take on this case and they find themselves uh, conflicted uh, due to the uh, uh, due to their interactions with Ayani and especially Kusanagi has some feelings for Ayani <laughs> that complicates his uh, judgment that's what uh, 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 Yukawa or Professor Manuhu Yukawa also known as Galileo thinks when he steps in to assist with the investigation that Kushanaki is attracted to Ayani and Ayani is a very good personality uh, and she is also a prime suspect uh, before they can rule her out of the picture. Uh, so together uh, Kushanagi and Galileo, they try to go into the intricacies of the case uh, which reveals various complexities of the relationship and uh, mainly the relationship between Yoshitaka and his wife Ayani, as well as Yoshitaka's relationship with the assistant Hiromi Wakayama, who also becomes a suspect uh, because she is uh, uh, she is present uh, in in uh, uh, in that uh, city while uh, Ayane was out visiting the parents. So the investigation now has to reveal how how the poison was administered. So it, no, uh, how uh, uh, as to how the person died is known, uh, but how the poison was administered. This becomes uh, the detective game, leading them to question the very nature of the crime uh, and how it was carried out. So there is detailed depiction of the investigative process in this whole novel, particularly how Professor Yukawa applies scientific principles and uh, Kushanagi has come up with something and then Yukawa goes in and tells him something else. So it's a nice mind game between the detective and the professor who are working on this together. So the novel carries a lot of intellectual depth and allow Kigohigashi knows novels because of their intellectual depth. And they are also exploring the various uh, moral dilemmas uh, that, uh, um, that, are, uh, that are in front of people seeking justice. And it also explores the theme of love, betrayal, and how it can quickly transition from one to the other. It's a puzzle uh, that leaves uh, the reader with a profound exploration of human uh, emotions and uh, like what is the motivation and what drives us and what can quickly switch between love and betrayal and so on. So do go and read Salvation of a Seat, one of Saint, wonderful, wonderful read. So the other uh, novel today is The Devotion of Suspect X. 
uh, this is a novel which was uh, recently uh, made into a movie which came on Netflix. It's a Bollywood movie called Kofia, and uh, they did give credit to Kiga Higashino. And Kiga Higashino's novels have been adapted into a uh, lot of the movies. Some of them give credit, and some of them don't give him credit. This particular movie did give him credit, uh, Kofia. So do go, go ahead and watch the movie Kofia as well, uh, in case you haven't watched it. The novel revolves around uh, Yasuko Hanaoka, uh, a single mother working at a lunch shop, uh, a bento box shop, and her daughter Misato. So Yasuko's life takes a turn when her abusive ex-husband, Togashi, shows up at their apartment, uh, which leads to a confrontation that ends with Yasuko and Misato accidentally killing uh, Togashi. And uh, it was an act done in self-defense. And uh, Ishigami is the neighbor of Yasuko. And he's a brilliant, uh, reclusive mathematics teacher. And uh, uh, basically, the uh, the setup is of the neighbor and uh, who is Ishikami and and uh, Yasuko uh, and the daughter. So in the twist of fate, uh, uh, like Ishigami also harbors a secret feeling for Yasuko, uh, and there is a reason for that. And he offers to help them cover up the crime. Uh, he knows that crime was committed and Togashi has been murdered, but he uh, steps in. To help them out and this sets off a chain of events that draw the attention to the police and yukawa shows up as well the professor uh, and uh, he's ishigami's former university friend and uh, then starts the game uh, like between ishigami and yukawa the discussions that happen and so on uh, so detective kushanami again and his team also dive into the case uh, yukawa cannot uh, cannot investigate on his own. He has to be involved with Detective Kushanagi and the team. So uh, this this is a very good dynamic uh, relationship. But there is a close uh, close friend uh, in Ishigama that, of Yukawa. So that is uh, like a twist. The novel is a good cat and mouse game between Ishigami goes to extreme lengths to protect Yasuko and uh, and the daughter. And uh, it's, an, uh, it's a lot of depth uh, in the characters and the moral questions that it raises. The uh, the relationship between Ishigami and Yokawa is also very interesting. That it's another layer of complexity. So the actions which are, are driven by uh, love and then forcing the reader to ponder on the very nature of devotion. What do we do in terms, how, how do we devote ourselves when we are so much in love? And uh, the novel goes through various twists and turns, and the conclusion will not, uh, just profound and very unexpected twist that uh, you will not be expecting. And this leaves a lasting impact on the reader uh, and a very solidifying impact on the reader as well. So uh, uh, there are other Kigo Higashino novels that I will uh, bring together in a video uh, sometime in the future. The Journey Under the Midnight Sun is one of them, Silent Parade, Naoko, Naoko, I think it will make you uh, cry. <laughs> it made me uh, at least a little bit tearful. Uh, and the other novels, Malice, I've already covered in one of the earlier video videos. Do go and check that out. And uh, The Miracles of the Namiya General Store. Uh, this is an interesting one. <laughs> uh, it's uh, nothing to do with uh, crime, uh, uh, crime or adventure, but it's different. So I will talk about that in one of the future videos. And A Midsummer Sequation is another beautiful, beautiful uh, novel from Kiga Hiroshino. So in order to stay connected with me, do subscribe to Life's Magical Journeys YouTube channel and also subscribe uh, on the other socials, Facebook, Insta, and LinkedIn. And uh, that's it for uh, this particular video. I will see all of you soon with another author and their novels. For now, bye.